Have you ever woken up one morning and thought to yourself, you know what, I fancy visiting every station in Northamptonshire. No? Just me? Well, okay then. Well, that's what I'm doing today. I'm visiting all six stations in the county of Northamptonshire. Now, I know on the surface, six stations doesn't sound that bad. But trust me, it is more complex than you might think. <laughs> so, to begin with, I need to go and find the soonest service to St Pancras from here. I'm currently at Nottingham Station. And we're going to head to the first station in Northamptonshire, which will be Kettering. Well, hey-ho, look at that. Yep, as it's saying right now, it's delayed. Well, that's great. That's a good start. <laughs> I love this. Not even on the first train, and we're already caught by disruption. This is wonderful. So I'm looking at real-time trains. Apparently, it's 22 minutes late. It's currently at Spondon. Yeah, it's not even... Even if it were to run now with its delay, it wouldn't get here until 10 minutes after it's meant to leave here. So I'm going to miss my connection at Kettering to go to Corby afterwards. Meaning I'm going to be at least half an hour set back, which is not the end of the world because I do have some padding in my plan uh, later. So provided I can get the next St Pancras service, I should still be okay to get everything done. We can hope. Okay, I was getting the 0850, but there is the 912 from platform six. So let's do that. Looks like this is the train. Hope it is. We'll just wait for it to open up. So basically, what's happening is my delayed train means I'm not going to make my connection at Kettering. Um, but the thing is, I made my plan with a bit of a failsafe, which was I was actually going to be on an East Midlands Connect to Corby half an hour earlier than I needed. So hopefully, on this train, I can still make the earlier... Sorry, no. I can make the one that will actually make sense to get, not the one that was 30 minutes earlier. So, hopefully, after Corby, I should still be fine. Yes, in lovely continuity error fashion, I have moved seat. It, I was in a completely empty carriage, and then someone gets in, and then, of all the seats to choose, they decide to put themselves in the seats in the row next to me. Which would have made filming very awkward. <laughs> so, here I am now. Okay, my main worry was that we'd be actually put behind this train, because this train, the delayed one I was going to be getting, is a fast train. This one is slightly slower, calls it a few more stops, and I was worried that we'd get put in front of it. But I think we're okay, because we have TRTS, green signal, they've given the uh, little beeps on the guard buzzer. So I think we should be leaving. And we are. Great. Okay then, so provided we make the connection at Kettering, we should still be okay. Ratcliffe Power Station, which is now decommissioned. I'm just religiously looking at real-time trains, just at the delay on this train. We're currently five minutes late now, which leaves me five minutes to change at Kettering. Um, I also checked the delayed train I would have been on, and apparently that's actually past us now, and is about, about like 10 minutes ahead of us. So I made the wrong choice getting this train. Uh, it's going to be a lot more stressful trying to make the connection now. Now I'm also at like very close to the back of the train, which is completely the wrong place to be at the footbridge at Kettering to do the connection. So I'm thinking at Leicester I might unit hop just to be close to the front to do the connection quicker. Right, Operation Unit Hop is a go. Right. Go, go, go. Go. Get in, get in. Okay. We've unit hopped. Nice. My connection will now be a little bit shorter. Time to get comfy in this vestibule. <laughs> it's not that far to Kettering, though. We should be fine. So we made it to Kettering, and uh, I realised this entire time I was planning for a change to platform one. 
But I just remembered now that platform one is the southbound platform and we're going north. It's just a cross-platform interchange. I woke up early today, okay? My brain's not functioning 100% capacity right now. Well, nevertheless, anyway, we've made it. So let's wait for the next train to Corby. So Kettering is station one of six and Corby will be station number two. So Kettering is station one of six. Uh, Corby will be station two of six. Finally, some progress. Yeah, only an eight minute journey to Corby, which was quite nice. And the lovely thing is that at Corby, I don't have to worry about missing a connection because this is the exact train. It turns around after about 15 minutes. That's a nice little break. I swear as well, like north of Bedford, these, or even like Luton Airport, these trains are so empty all the time. <laughs> it's nice though, it's quite relaxing. It's so quiet. See it, say it, sort it. I have to actually get out onto the platform for it to count. Just staying on the train and reversing doesn't count. There we are, nice. Second station, Corby. Anyway, that's kind of all I needed to do was step on the platform and get back on the exact same train. So let's do exactly that. Here's the uh, old platform from the very short-lived 1987 Corby station. It was only served for three years, from 1987 to 1990. Uh, for the record, the current Corby station opened in 2009. So off we go from Corby and we'll be heading towards our third station in Northamptonshire of six, which will be Wellingborough. Now, as much as I'd like to say that it's now all over, unfortunately, uh, we do still have one more scary connection to make um, because my plan was to wait for just half an hour at Wellingborough. Again, because I'm now half an hour behind, thanks to the delay from Nottingham. Um, yeah, I've got to make a six minute connection at Bedford after we leave from Wellingborough uh, to the Marston Vale line. Even though Northamptonshire only has six stations, they are all on three, or depending on your definition, four different lines. Uh, so, it takes around seven hours to visit every station, to do all six stations in Northamptonshire, which is kind of crazy. In an ideal world, if the first phase of East-West Rail was open by now, it wouldn't take quite as long, but uh, we are not so fortunate. So it'll soon be time to wait in Wellingborough for half an hour. I'll have to find something to do in the time. <laughs> Splendid! Wellingborough! We're already half done. If only I was half done time-wise, wouldn't that be nice? So, uh, I've got half an hour to wait in Wellingborough now. Hmm, what can I do in this time? Is there a shop nearby? I might see if I can have an opportunity to get some snacks. Oh, for God's sake, there's like no shops in the really near vicinity. The closest one is about a 10 minute walk away. That, 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 that's too tight. Great, well, never mind. I'll have to find a different opportunity then. <laughs> I did feel inclined to get that train going back up north. Maybe go to like Kettering just to fill in dead air time, but... You know, I, I, don't, I don't want to add more variables that could possibly go wrong. <laughs> Just briefly popped out to the front, because why not? It's a nice looking station. I do like this. Just reading on Wikipedia now, apparently uh, this platform, Platform 4, was actually uh, out of use until around 2019. <laughs> the more you know. Anyway, time to wait for the 11.28 to St Pancras and we'll get it to Bedford. So it'll soon be Bedford time. Um, I forgot where the ideal connection like area was. I mean, the place near the footbridge. Because um, I still have the six minute connection to do to the Marston Vale line. Um, luckily we're running perfectly on time, so I don't need to worry too much about that. 
but yeah, I've just sort of placed myself in the middle of the train, so hopefully I'm not too far wherever the footbridge is. Okay, six minute connection, but we actually arrived perfectly on time, which is a nice break from what I've had today. Okay, we've made it to the totally not a northern train to Bletchley. Back at the Marston Vale line, again, I keep coming back here. Still, the northern interior with Thames Link right outside the window. It's still, it's such a huge clash, it just doesn't feel right. So thankfully now, because we've made it to the Marston Vale line, we've made the connection, we're finally back on track with the original plan. Ah, thank goodness it's worked out. This is why you always add fail-safes, or plan Bs. So the next two stations we're trying to visit in Northamptonshire are Long Buckby and Northampton. Uh, we're travelling to Long Buckby first, uh, which is why I'm going to Bletchley. Um, now my plan actually involves a 34 minute change at Bletchley, so that's quite nice. Um, but it's a half hourly train service and the minimum connection time is usually around six minutes. Uh, so if this train arrives at Bletchley perfectly on time, I might be able to run and make the four minute connection and put me actually half an hour ahead of schedule. Which would be quite cool. I would take that. Oh man, Kempston Hardwick. The place where it all fell apart that one time. <laughs> also the site of uh, where the perfect misunderstanding short film was film that. So, full speed ahead to Bletchley. Hopefully everything goes fine. Okay, so a short bit of time has passed and uh, yeah, we've left Randy Stratford. We're on the approach to Bletchley. I'm not going to rush to make the connection, but if I do make it, that would be nice. So this train has ended up running three minutes late, pulling into Bletchley. So, yeah, making the four minute connection is unlikely, but I'll try. This is why minimum connection times exist. Oh, we've pulled in right next to the stairs, it might be possible. Ooh. Yeah, this is it right here, oh my god. We're actually gonna make it, nice. Well, okay then, cool. Half an hour ahead of schedule. The trains must have felt bad for me earlier with all of my stress I had with connections. They're compensating me now. <laughs> Milton Keynes. The only time I've been here actually was the night before and the morning of the 7.30 first service. But that was in November and I got here in the evening and left in the early morning. So I've never been to Milton Keynes in the daytime before. Only ever in the dark. I did consider getting out of Wolverton to just tick off the station, but, you know, again, I don't want to add variables. And anyway, it means I get to finish the challenge faster if I stay on the earlier trains. So our destination is the fourth station in Northamptonshire, which is Long Buckby. We're going to go to Long Buckby and then quickly, hopefully, turn around to Northampton. So we're approaching Northampton Station now. Um, I am staying on this train all the way through to Long Buckby, but the thing is, Northampton's weird. We wait at the station for about 18 minutes, and there's a WH Smith in the station, and I still need to go and get some like food and water or whatever, because I'm going to run out before we finish. Hear me out, I might actually get off, go into the station, go to the shop, and get back on. I'll have time to do it. I might do that. Okay, Northampton. Let's uh, pop to the WH Smith here. Th this, this is a very weird thing with the rules right now. Okay, right. Grand. 
Ah, the All Aboard to Northampton thing. Where there's tickets from every station to Northampton. I need to contribute to this at some point. Here's a few of them that haven't been filled in yet. In case you're wondering if any of these pop out to you immediately. Immediately I notice uh, Sumford Courtney. That's uh, going to be a bit hard to get a ticket from there. Anyway, look, my train's still here. <laughs> This is hilarious. So basically, yeah, I know, I've got out and I've walked around Northampton, but my own definition of like visiting a station is it doesn't count if you get immediately back on the same train, uh, unless you're at a terminus. Um, and that's what I'm doing here. Now, I know some people will be like, no, you got out, it's fine, whatever. But, you know, for avoidance of doubt, I'm still going to come back here anyway after Long Buckby and, you know, change here, because that will be getting on to an actual different train. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did get into the 350 slash 2, but I got to the declassified first bit where it's 2 plus 2, so we're okay. Why is there such a long dwell at Northampton? Honestly, I, I, I can't answer it myself. Someone in the comments will know. Do tell. Oh, it's the Varamis Rail 321s back there. Huh. Nice. Okie dokie, Long Buckby's coming up. Yep. Thanks. Thanks for interrupting me. I know it's been very cool. <laughs> but yeah, so Long Buckby's coming up. Station number four, or number four by my station visited rules. I'm going back to Northampton anyway, you know, just to satisfy everybody. <laughs> So I have got to do a five minute switch over to the other platform here. It's less than ideal, but thankfully I planned ahead and situated myself near the steps. So finally, we're making more progress. This is station number four out of six now in Northamptonshire. As for fun facts about this place, it's where now King Charles, Prince William and Prince Harry got off after the funeral of Princess Diana when they came up from London. That's something. So I'm going to walk around halfway down the platform here because at Northampton when I get back I'm supposed to have like 32 minutes there but again half hourly service. If by some miracle I make a two minute connection then that'd be great, cool and this is where the steps are going to be at Northampton. Um, and that's why I went to the shop then, um, instead of, you know, staying on the train, in case I happened to make that connection. Okay, so we are running two minutes late. I, I don't think we're making that quick change. Oh well, half an hour's not the end of the world. If the train's not there when we pull in, I'll try, but... Nah, of course not. Why, why would it not be there? Of course, the 15 minute dwell. Yeah, it's already there. And it's meant to leave at 13.40. Yeah, okay, we're not making that. I'd be arriving at the exact same time it would leave. And I'm already half an hour ahead of schedule anyway, so... I'm not gonna try. I'll walk there maybe, but if the train leaves, then whatever. Oh god, he's just turned 39 and that's it over there. Yeah, not a chance. Yeah, he's just closed the doors, the guy's just got in. He's gonna be leaving any second now, okay. Well, we've got half an hour to wait here then. Well, Northampton, again. For real this time. <laughs> Since we have half an hour here, I'm, I kinda wanna look at the All Aboard to Northampton thing again. IBM Greenock, ah yes. <laughs> They've even got Ashington, Bedlington, Bebside, everything like that as well. They've even planned ahead. This is cool, this is very cool. I kind of want to contribute one myself, I just don't know how to actually get them to put it in here. Also money, you know. I wouldn't actually be using it for a journey, I'd just be buying it now. Is there a little used station near here, like Polesworth? No, someone's got Polesworth. Damn, somebody even got Barliston. Like. Okay, yeah, 
it's going to be kind of hard. Well, isn't that fun? Be sure to come here yourself at some point and you can uh, hopefully contribute to this. Okay, so we've done five of six stations in Northamptonshire now. The last remaining one is a very annoying one. It's King Sutton, which is just barely, just barely by like 100 meters in Northamptonshire. But the thing is, we've got to go all the way to like Coventry, Banbury, and then change to King Sutton. If it, this, this is the thing where if East West Rail was open, this would be a lot easier. But we've got to really go out of our way <laughs> to get to King Sutton. Double slash twos. Now that is just sadistic. Oh, okay. Um, so the half of the train I was in isn't continuing to Birmingham. Gotta move. Whoops. Oh, that means it's gonna be really busy now, isn't it? All right then, well, here we go. And well, yes, yes, it was quite busy. I could only really film with my phone out of the window. It was uh, not great. Let, let, let's just go straight to Coventry. This video is already getting long enough as it is. All right, well, we made it to Coventry off of the four Vice 8 train. I'm pretty sure what happened was there was a fault on the unit or something that I was on. But yeah, it wasn't a slash two like I thought. So we're one step closer to King Sutton now. Just gotta find out the next train to, I think it's Banbury. I think I have to change at Banbury to get there from here. So we'll find out when that is. Interesting that they haven't updated any of the signs to Avanti yet. They've still got their uh, legacy look to them. So train to Banbury. Where, where's the next train to Banbury? Let's find out. Uh, okay, so the next train is in... Ah, okay, so actually I'll get to Banbury sooner if I change at Leamington Spa. I can get a West Midlands trains to Leamington Spa from here first and then change to Banbury. I mean, I suppose I could do that, maybe. <laughs> don't see why I can't. Would be nice if GWR or Chiltern came through Coventry, but alas, they don't. So uh, yeah, Banbury is required. Very uh, 70s, 80s tiled walls. <laughs> anyway, so platform four. So it's a two car service. Everyone's waiting down there, but the two car stop marker's here. I think it is stopping down there. Okay. Yeah. Oh well. Would would, would have paid off if that was true. <laughs> right. Well, I wasn't planning to go to Leamington Spa today, but you know, being half an hour ahead of schedule and everything, it's uh, yeah meant I can get this train. You know, extra station instead of just going direct to Banbury. I'll take it. Definitely looking forward to be done with this though, once I'm finished. Because I've been, uh, it's been six and a half hours since I began filming this video at Nottingham. Yeah, to visit six Northamptonshire stations. It's taken me this long. Seven hours from boarding the first train, but it would have been seven and a half had everything gone to plan. Just looking at real-time trains uh, for where I'm connecting to. Um, so when I get to Leamington Spire, I'm connected to Chilton and it's going to be one of the uh, fancy local hauled Mark 3s. Ooh, not been on one of those yet. Our final station. Well, here we are at Leamington Spa. We have a five minute connection, but it's cross platform, thankfully, so we don't really need to worry too much. All right, Chilton Mark 3. Awesome. Right, this is nice. Thought I was in first class at first, but I think the whole train's like this. Oh, did it. It's a real shame that I'm only on this for 18 minutes. 
between Lymington Spa and Banbury. All right, that's something now. I've got to come back here and do more of this. Right, Banbury. The final change. And then we can finally make it to King's Son. Okay, well, unfortunately, I've just barely missed a train that goes to King Sutton, a GWR. Um, so I have to wait for half an hour here, but it's not the end of the world. I'll live. So uh, time for my ears to get blasted off by the 68. Oh, dear. Crikey Moses, those things are loud. Anyway, so, half an hour until the next train to King's Sutton. Okay, 1610 to Marlebone. The King's Sutton service, finally. Okay, grand. Let's go. Five minutes to go. Here it is, oh my god. Yes. Finally. Jeez. It's finished. Every station in Northamptonshire in one day. <laughs> wow. So there we are, we've done it. We've done every single station in Northamptonshire, all six of them, in one day. This took me seven hours to complete. That was, uh, yeah, thanks to it being all on like three different lines. Yeah, despite everything going wrong at the first train, we have made it back and everything has gone well after that. So, thank you for watching. This is gonna be such a long video. I did so much in this video. <laughs> Can't wait to edit this at some point. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members, listed on screen now. Thank you all for supporting the channel.